Yep, this whole series is back, in top 10 form instead of top 5. We're gonna start off with one of the weirdest looking supervillains of all time, the Penguin. Who else is better suited for a list of designs than the guy with one of the kookiest and most eye-catching designs ever? Do let me know down in the comments what your favorite penguin designs are, and without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10, the Golden Age design. Fittingly enough, we start off the list with the penguin's very first design, the one he sported in the 1940s and 50s. It was, presumably, conceived by Batman co-creator Bob Kane, but of course drawn by multiple artists throughout these two decades. The Penguin's original look was, as you can see, very cartoony looking. It almost feels out of place in the Batman comics it appeared in. The other characters look like people, while Oswald here kinda looked like a Looney Tunes character. That was exactly the point though, to make him look silly. Because of that, no one took him seriously, which allowed him to lull his enemies into a false sense of security. This design fits that idea really well. While it will never be my favorite, I still really like it. Number 9, the Tim Sale design. Tim Sale, who drew classic Batman comics such as The Long Halloween and Dark Victory, Shirt sure offered us one of the uniquest takes on the Penguin's design. For one thing, it lacks a long nose, which is a pretty weird thing to do. This Penguin also has a large mouth filled with razor sharp teeth, kinda like a shark. And he has flippers instead of hands, very much like the Batman Returns version. In fact, this entire design seems to be inspired by Danny DeVito's look from that movie. It's very monstrous, emphasizing the freak aspect of the Penguin. The outfit is also pretty similar to the Returns version, being very dark and old-timey. I would never consider this the definitive Penguin design, but it sure is an awesome alternate take. I really love that oversized monocle too. Number 8, the animated series design. Yet another design inspired by the Batman Returns movie. In this case, it was actually mandated by the studio. The animators were ordered to make Penguin look like his movie counterpart. This is because the movie and the cartoon were coming out at the same time. This is something the makers of the animated series weren't fans of. But I like what they came up with. It doesn't look exactly like DeVito. Instead, it's a nice mix of Returns Penguin and classic comic book Penguin. A less grotesque looking version of Returns Penguin. Watching the animated series as a kid, this is pretty much the Penguin I grew up with, so obviously it'll always be special to me. As a kid, this is what the Penguin looked like to me. Freaky, but not too freaky. Number 7, the Pain and Prejudice design. Penguins look from the comic book miniseries Pain and Prejudice, as drawn by Zimon Kudransky. A very ugly looking penguin, to say the least. But since it's Oswald Cobblepot we're talking about here, ugly is a good thing. This penguin is maybe not as monstrous as some others on this list, but it's still quite deformed and freaky looking. Hunchbacked, a really beak-like nose. It's also one of the more intimidating looking penguins. When you see this guy, you'll more likely quiver in fear rather than laugh at him. He's very mean looking. It's not a classic theatrical dapper penguin. That fits this dark and depressing story perfectly of course. If you want to update the penguin's design for a modern and more serious setting, this is the way to do it. Number 6, The Batman's Design. The cartoon show, not the upcoming movie. Although Penguin looks pretty great in the movie too, but since that movie isn't out yet, I can't include it. Anyway, most of the designs this show came up with are pretty terrible in my opinion, but the Penguin here looks pretty great. If I'm going to be honest though, I didn't like Penguin's look either when the show came out, but I've warmed up to it quite considerably over the years. I guess it was the blonde hair that threw me off. Blonde hair on Pengi just uh, feels off. But once you get past that, you really start to appreciate this design. It's another very monstrous look, yet again taking influence from Batman Returns, including flipper hands. 
Like Tim Sale's design, it also has shark-like sharp teeth. This design overall feels very Tim Burton-ish, what with the striped pants and the ridiculously tall top hat. Yeah, I really can't understand how I once disliked this design. Looks really good. Number 5. The Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Design a 2019 animated crossover movie between Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In this modern day and age, where we're bombarded with terrible, so-called realistic penguin designs that look nothing like the character, it sure was refreshing to see the penguin in this movie. What do you know, in 2019 we get a penguin that actually looks like the penguin. Long nose, top hat, Monocle and everything. He's even pretty colorful, sporting lots of purple in his outfit. I'm not really crazy about the elf ears, but other than that, it's a fantastic take on a classic Pengi look. Number 4. The 60s TV show design. The first ever adaptation of the character, played by Burgess Meredith, captures his look perfectly. This design was of course not based on the Golden Age design, but the Silver Age design, which was the current look of Pengi at the time. Penguin was probably the best designed character on the show, in my opinion at least. He looks like Silver Age Penguin ripped straight off the page, truly like a comic book character come to life. Burgess Meredith was perfect casting too, not just acting wise, but visually as well. He certainly has an interesting looking face, and his over the top grimaces adds a lot to the overall look of the character. Number 3. The Batman Returns Design Well, here we have it, the look that has inspired so many others. The first design to truly play up Oswald's deformed freaky side, and probably the version to go the furthest with it too. I mean, actor Danny DeVito is pretty unrecognizable in this grotesque makeup. Truly a birdman. Director Tim Burton clearly treated his version of the Penguin as a horror character. And he obviously succeeded, as scores of terrified children left the theaters in tears back in 1992. If you're gonna portray the Penguin as a monstrous freak rather than a dapper, funny looking fella, this really is the perfect way to do it. The gothic Victorian era outfit, as opposed to a fancy tailcoat, also suits this version and the movie overall really well. Number 2. The Silver and Bronze Age Design The first ever redesign of the character. When the Penguin made a sort of comeback in the 60s, they also decided to update his looks a bit. They made him less cartoony looking, taller and quite a bit fatter. Thus was born the classic penguin design. It wasn't the first, but it is what most people think of when they think of classic retro penguin, not the Bob Kane look. Who drew this first? I don't really know for sure, but it may have been Carmine Infantino. This look continued to be used throughout the Bronze Age as well, and well into the 1990s even. It wasn't really discontinued until the mid-90s, coinciding with the character's modern revamp into a mob boss. When it comes to the Penguin, for me, it's pretty hard to beat this one. I mean, this is Penguin. There is of course one I like a bit better though. Number 1. The Joker's Asylum Design Drawn by artist Jason Pearson for the Penguin issue of the Joker's Asylum comic series. This is, in my opinion, a perfect looking penguin design. It's a pretty freaky looking Oswald, I mean, this has gotta be the largest nose he's ever sported. Just look at that thing. It's a kind of surreal design. But he's also very dapper and stylish looking, even wearing white gloves. He truly is a little gentleman. A freaky little gentleman. It's a great design because it combines the more monstrous penguin with the classic dapper penguin. This fits the character perfectly too, as he pretty much is a monster who masquerades as a classy gentleman. That's been Oswald's main shtick for decades now, and I don't think any other design captured that as well as this one. He pretty much is an animal playing dress up. 
And there it is, my 10 favorite penguin designs. Don't forget to list yours in the comments. As you noticed, I prefer my penguin looking weird and freaky. None of that skinny hunk here. I hate when he looks like that. The penguin is supposed to be short, fat and ugly, and that's just the way it is. Anyway, as always, remember Arkham Asylum awaits you in the next video.